And we're here to celebrate the release of album number five, Milo Zoloto. Yes, sir. That is correct. Correct. What is Milo Zoloto? Well, well, you can say it many ways, but uh, it's kind of a new, a, new, a new couple of words that don't really mean anything yet. But hopefully one day we'll come it's, to mean this record. We just like the, the, we like the way it looks, and, but we don't like the way it reads. You know, it's hard to pronounce, I agree. Which might be a mistake. We might have to change it. You know, a- after Viva La Vida, things really changed, eh, like with the release, and uh, it, it got much bigger, and, and, and your place in, in rock became, became the stature became, and, and the live shows on the Viva, Viva Tour really showed that. And uh, you, you might say that in the time after that, you, you seemed you didn't know what you were doing. With this record, you announced that you were going to do another record that December, and that would be it. But obviously, the gap between the two trapezes got a little bit bigger. Oh, yes, it did. Well, we always say things we end up not not being true. I think part of being in a band is that you basically lie the whole time when you're in interviews because you have to come up with some answer. And so, we, so often I've said things or we've said things that didn't didn't happen, and I apologise for that dishonesty. Well, what about the songs? So, give it, give us some uh, some insight into where these how the the struck where these songs came from from the periods and stuff. Well, the the new songs. Well. Some of them have been around for a long time. You know, we've been working on this album for about three years. Um, we kind of started out doing a, an acoustic record and then uh, decided that, well, we were holding some songs back and we thought, well, we might as well put all of our best songs together and see what happened. And so um, songs like Charlie Brown have come out. You know, It's been around for three years. We started out, Will was playing it on accordion, you know, and fi- then finally Guy said... We can't do this. No, no accordions. <laughs> There's an Oscar Wilde quote which says, uh, the sign of a gentleman is someone who knows how to play the accordion but chooses not to. <laughs> and we suddenly read that quote halfway through making an accordion album. <laughs> and said, oh, we well, don't want to upset Oscar Wilde. Well, often it seems like that the, the new record is a struggle and the writing songs are a struggle. There's often quotes like that coming out of the camp. And, you know, when you're making the studio now... I was in New York a couple of weeks ago talking to Noel Gallagher, and we were talking about other things, and, and Coldplay came up, and I asked him, you know, it always, Coldplay seemed to always say that, that they're working on the next record, it might be their last. Here's what Noel had to say about you guys and your songwriting ability. This is Noel Gallagher on Coldplay. Chris is a friend of mine. He only says it's a struggle. And when he's made a record, he always says, this is the last one. Always says it. But, um, it, you, know, you know, it's never a struggle for them. This. But how can music that sounds so effortless be so be so hard? It doesn't make any sense. But um, I love their new stuff. Uh, I've heard, oh, obviously I've not, I haven't heard the records yet, but I've seen them uh, at Glastonbury, and I went to see them a few weeks later in London. Some of the stuff is really good. I think their fans are going to be majorly, majorly pleased. I think we are going to be majorly pleased as we're waiting for October twenty fourth. He got seventy thousand dollars for that. <laughs> He doesn't like us at all, <laughs> but he wanted a new car. Is he a ma- is he a mate? Yeah, well, well, I like to think so. He's still a, kind yeah. of a hero for us. Well, now you were in New York with uh, the Letterman show last night. It was great. Yes, Radiohead were in town too. Did you happen to cross paths with them? They don't speak to us, <laughs> and we don't speak to them. They know they're the best, but we know we're the most handsome. <laughs> so there's a standoff. You know, I, I really think uh, we'd heard some of the songs online, and uh, I, I know for a lot of people, myself, I watched the Lollapalooza set, and things started to come together with that set. That was a, a, a comeback set, the new songs mixed with the old song. And again, I really think you found your place where moving forward with, with this record was. What was it like Thank in you. front of all those people at Lollapalooza? Because it seemed to really click. Well, we, we made the decision to go out and play festivals with new songs, which we haven't done uh, for nine years. Yeah, since Russia Bud to the Head. Since Russia Bud to the Head. And uh, it really puts you kind of back at square one and you have to prove yourself all over again, which I think is a, a healthy exercise. Uh, and it, it all really starts with Glastonbury, as Noel said. That's sort of our, our mecca, this festival in England called Glastonbury. And um, yeah, there's something challenging about it and there's a feeling that you can't take anything for granted and you have to really, you know, come in all guns blazing. And now let's talk about some of the songs that we're going to hear. First of all, there's some pop culture references. First of all, hey, he's everybody's you know, favorite underdog, Charlie Brown. Is there a connection right. between, between Peanuts and the song? Well, there is in the sense that uh, part of the idea of the song was um, how in cartoons you can get shot or 
your head can get axed off and then in the next <laughs> scene it's just back to normal. And I was thinking, wouldn't that be great if life was really like that? So that's where the idea came from, like a cartoon type of existence. And, and uh, the guitars came up. The second song we got to hear when you, when you were floating songs around was Major Minus. I think that's uh, already one of my favorite off the record. The guitars are nice and loud in that one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us about Princess of China and your guest who uh, guests on that song. Yes, we're doing a song with a girl, an upcoming singer who might be good one day called Rihanna. <laughs> and she, she and us have done a duet, which does sound like a strange idea, except that it sounds pretty good yeah. and it's my favorite bit of singing on the album obviously because it isn't me <laughs> uh, and it's also the first time we've ever tried a duet and yeah we, we the whole the whole attitude of the band at the moment is we have nothing to lose so we'll try anything uh, all right so uh we uh we have arcade fire in this uh, in this country of ours you certainly and, do and uh um you you've uh, you worked with some of their people, the Marcus Draves and stuff. Yes, and Brian Eno and the uh, what's the Brian Eno's exact? He has a uh, you've given him an emirates title on this record instead of producer. Yeah, or, he's he's called uh, he he does inoxification. This is a term that he invented, and it kind of refers to he wasn't really a producer on this record. He was he we had a period of about two months where he was basically we were in a band with him. He was our keyboard player, right. and it was you know it was like. All of our dreams came true. So it was, it was, he was more kind of a sower of seeds and a, and a keyboard player rather than a, and a traditional producer this time around. And he kicked you where we needed to be kicked when it needed exactly. to be kicked. Yes, yeah, well, also Marcus, who, we, who yeah. Arcade Fire recommended to us, is really the guy who kicks our ass. Nice. Uh, if you can say that. And um, <laughs> so we're very grateful to Wynn and Regine and all them because they really provided us with a great new. Uh, you know, ringmaster. Absolutely. Now, of course, you had written Kingdom Come for Johnny Cash. Yes, sir. Uh, to keep the legends, the, le the row of uh, Mount Rushmore of, of American icons, Willie Nelson has covered The Scientist. What's your take on it? Wow, that's amazing. I did read about this, actually. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't heard it, but okay. we I've, love Willie Nelson. I've, I've seen it. I thought it was um, a very... Um, it was a great cover, and a, it was a, a great animation for a seemingly... Brilliant cause. Nice. And you were just in Austin, Texas. You're going to, you know, if the guy only the government seized his, uh, all of his farm yet, you're going to win and visit him. Yes, sir. Yeah. We, we've been in like seven, I can't remember when we were in Austin, but I know we were. Yeah. <laughs> we're now, moving fast at the moment. What are the plans after that? When are we going to see you for shows? What's the touring plans? Uh, well, that is, we, we can't really think much <laughs> further than the, the next day at the moment. Yeah. I think we've got to see how, uh, how Johnny feels about touring because obviously. He has to be the guitar hero and accept right. all that <laughs> attention. Uh, so it's up to him, really. Okay, so we'll talk. We'll talk okay, after. Okay. And uh, I know today you came here in a car, and I guess you're going to leave in a car, but I just want to go back and say, has anything ever topped the way you guys were escorted by, poli by police on horses from our studio on Young Street? Yes, where are those guys today? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're over there in case we they're don't need don't get now. the Mounties <laughs> anymore. That's because we're going... <laughs> Down. But not as special as we used to be. We don't even get Mounties. That well, was the high point, wasn't it? That was the high point. <laughs> Ever. It's the only time we've ever had a horse escort. <laughs> well, this time you're going to be escorted out by the appreciation of an audience that waited a long time for you and a special day because you're now part of our DNA. Your DNA. We've been in your place. You've been in our place. Now this is my place. This is Coldplay. Thank you again. Thank you, Thank you for coming out, guys. Thank you. See you later.